Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama is signaling that he may be ready to end his 10-month block on military promotions. ABC's Jay O'Brien joins us now from Capitol Hill with more on that. Jay, good morning. We had a lot of anticipation here on Capitol Hill this morning that Senator Tommy Tuberville's controversial blockade of more than 350 military nominations could come to an end in the coming days. The Department of Defense saying that these holdups are leaving key command positions vacant or with interim leaders. And in a time with conflicts in the Middle East and in Ukraine, it's posing a serious national security risk, they say. Tuberville holding up these nominations over objections to the Pentagon's abortion policy. And after 10 months of holding his ground, the Alabama senator acknowledging to reporters last week that these nominees, quote, need to be promoted and, quote, have have not done anything wrong. The former college football coach turned senator has been roundly criticized by Democrats and even some Republican colleagues in his own party for holding up these nominations. He's now saying that he's working with a bipartisan group of lawmakers to get as many promotions voted on as soon as possible, but it's unclear with exactly how many he'll let be confirmed. All right, we'll be watching that. And Jay, while I have you, some big news in the House. Speaker Mike Johnson says Republicans will likely move forward with that impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. Yeah, Speaker Johnson saying that he believes there needs to be a vote to formalize that already ongoing impeachment inquiry. And he says he believes he has the votes to move ahead with this. Remember, it wouldn't be a vote to impeach the president. Instead, it would be a vote to solidify the already ongoing months-long impeachment investigation that House Republicans have been conducting into whether or not President Biden had direct connections to his son Hunter's overseas business dealing. So far, Republicans have presented no direct evidence of that. Republicans sources telling me that a vote on that impeachment inquiry could come as soon as this week. Whit. All right, Jay, and on a much happier note, congratulations are in order. I understand you're engaged. We saw the pictures. Oh, thank, that means the world. Thank you. So I love everybody at that desk and everybody in that control room. And my fiance Haley and I could not be happy. Congratulations. Well, we love you too. And apparently we're not the only one. So she said yes. And uh, we'll look forward to more pictures on that, Jay. Uh, meantime, Thanks, tune into this week later on this morning. George Stephanopoulos speaks with White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby and Israeli Minister of Strategic Affairs Ron Dermer about the latest phase of the Israel-Hamas war following the end of the week-long truce. Plus, he speaks with Senator James Lankford about the bipartisan negotiations for a bill trying time border security to foreign aid for Ukraine and Israel. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.